Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be teaching you how to use the IR. The first thing you're going to want to do when you come into the IR room is to sign in. You're going to put your name, the date, and the time in and time out when you're done using the instrument. Right now the IR has the ATR attachment on it. We'll be using this primarily in Orgo Lab. This attachment has two different accessories for analyzing the sample. One you use for a liquid and one you can use for a solid. Right now the accessory that is being used is for solid samples. To change accessories, you can simply raise this up and then unscrew it. Depending on what type of sample you have, you can use either of these accessories. The flat top accessory is used for solid samples and the concave accessory is used for liquid. When one of these accessories is not in use, make sure to screw it into the spot designated right here in the top right corner. To raise or lower the accessories, you can turn this knob. Beneath the accessory is the crystal. You can see a red light shining out from it, and you just want to make sure that you never touch this, especially with the spatula when you're loading your sample onto the plate here. Before using the IR, you want to make sure that the crystal and the accessory is cleaned using this alcohol prep pad. Before you take the background, you're going to want to make sure that the alcohol is completely dried off of the crystal. After you've made sure that this is all clean, you can run the background. So you want to make sure that the accessory is closed and that you've heard this click one time. Taking the background scan. Before taking the background scan, we have to open the Omnic software on the computer. Once it's open, make sure that the correct attachment is chosen. In our case, that's the Smart Diamond attachment. Next, make sure that there is a green check mark in the top right corner. If there is, the system is ready to go. Now you can go ahead and hit the Collect Background button. A box will show up saying, please prepare to collect the background spectrum. Once you click the OK button, the software and instrument will start taking the background scan. In total, this will take 16 scans and combine them together. This shouldn't take more than 20 to 25 seconds. Once the scan is complete, the background spectrum should look like this. A box will then pop up and ask if you want to add the background spectrum to a new window. Since we don't need the background spectrum for our data, click No. Watch the next video to find out what you should do after taking the background scan.